Hey everybody, my name is Jar and I'm going to be telling you 10 interesting psychology facts about human feelings. So listen on if you want to know. Number one, there's actually a phobia for losing one's phone. Nomophobia is a term describing the fear of being without a mobile device or beyond mobile phone contact. According to a study, 54% of those who were asked actually said that they've experienced nomophobia before. And overall, women were more likely to suffer from nomophobia than men. Number two, without realizing it, we're actually affected by other people's moods. Research called this phenomenon emotional conjugation. This is a natural process that pre-wired our brain through mirror neurons that allow us to sense and reflect on others' emotions. And as stated in the chameleon effect, we have the natural tendency to imitate another person's speech inflections and physical expressions. We usually mimic the actions of those we surround ourselves with. Number three. In the past few years, psychology researchers have found a good literal truth embedded in the metaphorical phrase comparing love to pain. Neuroimaging studies have shown that brain regions involved processing physical pain overlap considerably those with those tied to social anguish. Broken heart syndrome is categorized by normal coronary arteries, regional wall motion abnormalities that extend beyond a single vascular bed and often a precipitating stressor. It's temporary that this is often brought up on social situations such as the loss of a loved one. Number four, when we hug, the chemical that the brain releases is the hormone oxytocin. A hormone recognized for its role in social attachment and facilitations of social interaction is also important in the formation of trust. Number five, it was proposed in one study that the normal, unremarkable experiences associated with everyday living can deplete one's capacity to resist moral temptations. The study proposes that most likely people have less self-control when they're tired. Another study concluded that the average adult has less self-control as the day wears on, becoming more likely to become immoral by the end of the afternoon. Number six, desynthesization is defined as the diminished emotional responsiveness to a negative or aversive stimulus after repeated exposure to it. In a study conducted recently, parents were subject to watching movies that contain violence and sex have shown that there was an increase in acceptance to both types of content, even to the extent of willingness to show it to their children. There's also evidence among people who play video games. Number seven, I don't think it's a new thing that when we consider chocolate as the new love drug. Chocolate has been widely known as being a staple for showing love. But why is that so? It contains tryptophan, a chemical in the brain that is used to produce serotonin, the feel-good brain chemical that plays a major role in positive mood, emotional health, proper sleep, and balanced appetite. It works by stimulating the brain's pleasure centers and reaches its peak level during orgasm. Number eight, psychological research has classified six facial expressions which correspond to two distinct universal emotions, disgust, sadness, happiness, fear, anger, and surprise. Theories have also hypothesized that the universals are to be found in the relationship between distinctive moments of the facial muscles and the particular emotions. Number nine, mirror neurons are the brain's hardware for harmonizing individuals to their environment. The mirror neurons when you blush, when you see someone else humiliated, flinch when someone else is struck, can't resist the urge to laugh in a big group of people, when seeing a group struck with giggles. It's been said that these neurons have given us the capability of empathy, allowing us to feel what other people feel, both physically and emotionally. 